made it. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. How do you tell? I don't know. Actually, we could look at your phone to see. Okay. Throw us some hearts and comments if you guys are on. Because I'm not sure if we... There's one. ...are able to see the comments. We'll just wait a minute for some people to get on. So if you're watching the replay, probably fast forward to about a minute or two. Yes. Are you guys ready to get down and dirty? <laughs> it's going to be fun. This was a lot of fun to research. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, check, um, put your live on or follow it on there and then we can... There we are. Oh, Hi, yeah. everybody. There's more people coming on. Yay. Okay, we've got like eight. We're we'll wait here. for like one or two more and then we'll get started. Woot woot. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kathleen. Throw up some hearts and stuff. I'm not seeing any hearts. We need some hearts, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to <laughs> see them. I did a Facebook Live once and it just didn't even. Let me see comments. Are people? Mm. We got a couple comments in here. Yours. Okay, cool. We'll just follow on there. There we go. The volume's down. Okay, cool. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm sure more people will be trickling in. Thank you for joining us. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Emerald. And um, I just wanted to give a little bit of a testimony slash backstory um, of how I was introduced to Lucy Libido, but also why it's so important to balance our hormones. So I gave birth to my beautiful daughter, Serenity, almost two years ago. And after giving birth, my hormones were just out of whack. Um, and they definitely affected my mood, <laughs> but more importantly, they affected my sex drive, my libido. So obviously that's important when you're in a marriage, so I wanted to find ways to help me with that and get my hormones, hormones back in balance. Um, and I tried all sorts of different things like reading books, I looked for information online, um, and it just seemed like nothing was really getting my hormones to want to get to that point to enjoy it with my hubby and it became more of a chore than like a fun thing that you get to do with your hubs, an intimate thing. So um, I was referred to by Lisa to try Progescence Plus and Endoflex, which we'll be talking about in this video. Um, and it's also in the Lucy Libido book. And these two oils together are amazing. They totally helped balance my hormones, my libido was up again, and I just had like an overall joy, joyful heart. <laughs> and when I started using Endoflex, I was kind of looking at the clock like, oh, when's my hubby coming home? <laughs> Let's get this started. How soon can I put Serenity to sleep? <laughs> So that's a little bit of my background, and I'm so happy to share that with you, and I can't wait to get to know each one of you. Yeah. Guys, we're just following to um, on the other phone down here, so we're going to try and um, keep up, but um, just in case we don't see your questions or anything, we will definitely try and go back later and answer them. Um, so it's kind of funny because I shared this video and information with some of my really good friends about the Endoflex Progestance Plus combo. Um, and it's so interesting to me how um, I was so focused on the nutrition side of things and I had completely neglected, had no real idea how to figure out hormone stuff and I just saw a bunch of these oily ladies talking about these things and it seemed like you couldn't go wrong with Progestins Plus and Endoflex. So I thought, you know, what the heck, I'm going to put that on my ER order and just try it out. And I did this video after because you guys, it was like... A major fog was lifted for me. Um, I definitely think I had maybe not full-blown depression because I've had that before but um, when my daughter was born I just had really terrible thoughts and I just felt like a terrible mother and like I wasn't enjoying motherhood as much as I could and um, just was really down and really hard on myself and so um, getting into the oily life in the community really helped me but I was definitely missing something so when I started these two it just really 
um, I say Indoflex was the first oil that I felt like an instant uh, mm -hmm. difference with because for me, I put it over my thyroid and I literally felt like I'd had a cup of coffee. Like I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, I like the taste of coffee, but I don't drink it regularly. But that's what I would equate it to because um, it just gave me kind of that like little boost. Like, oh my gosh, I feel like my energy is coming back. I feel like I actually wanted to clean the house, which I <laughs> did not want to do. I was like, I'm taking care of a baby. That's all I can do. So, um, so yeah, so for me, those were big, big, big time. Um, and even now I can notice, and my husband even jokes because now he can notice, um, if I forget to put on my Progestins Plus because yes. then I start getting those like sad for no reason feelings and I have kind of bluesy days. Um, I will say though that Progestins Plus seems to work differently for everybody. It seems to cover all sorts of um, issues and help all different um, stages of womanhood from um, you know, teenage girls all the way up through women going through menopause. Um, so it doesn't seem like there's anybody that hasn't helped. Um, Endoflex, I felt immediate relief with. Progestins Plus, I think it was probably a few weeks in that I was like, wow, this stuff is really awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna cover um, just some of the uses in post number five too, just so you guys have a reference point. I did talk about how we can use these oils, but I'm just gonna touch on them again. Um, just so that we know the three ways to use oils. Um, okay, trying to keep up with a few of the questions. Um, how Hi, many drops <laughs> are we using? Okay, so per the bottle instructions, um, it says to use two to four drops daily on your neck area, which is what I do. Um, I decided to use the awesome rollerball because I saw somebody else do a video on this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier. So I kind of just do like two or three swipes and I do it on my forearms as well. Um, I will say from my own personal experience, I did speak with a nutritionalist when I was pregnant with my um, second daughter because I had been using this um, from when Charlie was probably about five or six months. Um, and even through my pregnancy. Now, you don't need to have um, more progesterone when you're pregnant because those levels naturally just go higher. Um, really but high. when I told my nutritionist, I was like, but it's my happy oil. I'm really afraid to not be using it. She said, you know what, just slow your roll. Like you probably just don't need as much. Um, I would suggest using it at night because it's good for sleepy time. So it kind of just became my nightly routine and I didn't use it um, in the day as often. Um, we are referring to the Lucy Libido book. Um, this is kind of what sparked our interest on talking about hormones. So everything we are talking about is pretty much from this book except for our personal experience. Um, there's also an awesome Lucy Libido um, class, um, which we're referencing too, and she goes into super, super detail. So tonight we're just yeah. kind of going to get a chance to tap on things and kind of get you guys inspired and, and learn a few things from our personal experiences, but definitely um, get added to that class on Facebook. You can just yes. search Lucy Libido in groups and it'll come up. You'll see it's got like 60,000 members. It's really amazing. Um, this book is less than 10 bucks on Amazon. Get it. You yes. will be so happy you did. Mm -hmm. I've already read it once and then studying again for it for this class. Um, I keep learning stuff new. And it's such an easy read and it, she's really funny. <laughs> she'll make you blush sometimes and she'll make you laugh other times and then you'll be blushing and laughing at the same time. <laughs> Okay, Aurora said, what time of day do you put those two oils on? Um, Endoflex, I use it whenever I need it. So it's kind of my oil that's in my purse, on my counter. Um, whenever I just feel my energy levels dropping, that's kind of when I use it. Um, I know a lot of people do like to dilute it and have like roll-ons all over the place. Um, mm, I, I like it neat. I mean, I don't seem to go through it too often. I probably use it two or three times a day, um, generally. Some days I forget. And that's just how it is. But Pro Plus, usually twice a day, sometimes three times. Um, and that's the other really cool thing about this book is there's lots of Q&As on, yes. on who can use Progestins Plus and um, are natural hormones safe and all that stuff in the back. So Yes. Um, and we'll be going over the ingredients when we talk about each oil. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about usage. Um, topically is something that all Young Living oils are safe to do. Um, so I like these cool little coconut oil packets for newbies, or I do like the coconut oil from Trader Joe's. 
Um, I also really like the B6 oil from Young Living. Um, this is great if you're gonna make a lube or any sort of sexy time massage kind of thing. Um, sensation massage oil is on my next ER oh, order. Yes, me too. Um, which I'm excited <laughs> to try because me I really too. like the sensation oil. Um, so when you're using topically, it would be good to use on your Vitaflex points if you're using it for sexy time. So men are the left um, outside left ankle, women are the outside right ankle. Now, it's totally fine if you put it on both of your ankles. <laughs> it's not gonna be a problem, but that's just the VitaFlex points um, for the reproductive system. Um, so, and then also, um, some of these oils we're gonna talk about, we can put on our inner thighs. That's where I put Endoflex, and it works. <laughs> yes, so I do Endoflex on my thyroid. I know some people like lower back, wrists, you can't really go wrong. Inner thigh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, if you are using it topical and you've never used oils before, I recommend diluting just on your forearm just so you can figure out if um, an oil is something that you'd be sensitive to. It's super, super, super rare to have any sort of allergy or reaction, um, but even though it's rare, there's always that one yeah. person that might have a reaction. So just dilute and um, don't think about washing off oils. You wanna put a fatty oil over top because that will slow the rate of absorption. So definitely use um, your oils. Yes, and they can also react to chemicals. So for example, I use thieves on a regular basis. It's kind of a spicy oil, but I was putting it on my um, inner arms and my left arm reacted and my right arm didn't. And I don't remember what I had touched with my left arm, but it was something that wasn't natural. And when I ended up posting in one of our um, groups, our support groups, um, they said just it'll pro it's probably a reaction from a chemical or some other item that you had touched on that arm. So, but I put some coconut oil on it, and it was totally fine, like within 30 seconds. <laughs> yep, absolutely, good stuff. And then, okay, so. Everybody, if you have your starter kit, congratulations, it's amazing, Woo -woo. it's the best Welcome way to start with Young Living. Living. Um, then you got one of these gorgeous creatures here. This diffuser is everything. Aww. You can see the beautiful Aria in the background. And these are amazing because this uh, gets the oils, disperses them in tiny little molecules that go into your brain when you mm -hmm. inhale it and it just stimulates you. So when you're thinking of sexy time, it helps you relax, helps get you in the mood, um, because especially as busy mommies, we get so into what's happening towards the day, and then hubby goes, hey, hey, what's going on? And you're like, oh my gosh, not even there yet, not even close. <laughs> so hubby, or you, can put some oils in the diffuser, yes. and get things started. Alrighty, so, Let's see, we're just gonna refer to our notes sometime. So relaxing helps with frigidity. Um, I know as a woman, I get that way sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it just seems like one person's on, one person's off, and so it's good to get on the same uh, playing fields. Um, and then internal, which is actually something I have not done a whole lot of for sexy time. Um, yeah. I definitely do it for health in general. Um, but Young Living has these capsules these veggie capsules, and if you're desperate, I'm sure like Sprouts or Whole Foods has them too. Um, so you would just open your capsule like this, and you'd put in whatever sexy thyme oil you want, like Goldenrod or mm. Idaho Blue Spruce, and put your drops in there, and top, we like to top with olive oil, because we're usually in the kitchen when we're doing these, um, but coconut oil, any sort of carrier oil is good, and then you're good to go. So. Uh, those are awesome at increasing hormone levels like testosterone or estrogen naturally without side effects um, or having that risk of taking yes. synthetic hormones. Um, helps libido and performance in both men and women. Um, so a good way to think about this too, and I like how Lucy talked about this in the book, um, if the plant is edible, then the oil is edible. I think some people get all hyped up over like, you can't ingest an essential oil. And it's like, well, but if the plant is okay to eat, why isn't the essential oil okay to eat? Um, and I really do believe that God used um, and gave us all these plants for our benefit, and so um, I encourage you to empower yourself and do your own research. We have incredible reference books, um, and there's a lot of awesome science out there, not junk science, Yes. Um, so definitely do that. Um, and we are talking just about Young Living Essential Oils tonight, so keep that in mind. We have both 
used other oils and researched other companies and Young Living was the only one that ticked all the boxes by a long shot. Yes. Um, so safe for us to use ingesting and on our babies and all that good stuff. Um, so another really cool thing is that Young Living does have the Vitality line. Now the Vitality line is a work in progress. There are a lot of oils that are called grass, which is what the FDA um, certifies as generally regarded as safe for ingestion. So there are some oils that are still considered grass, generally regarded as safe, that may not be in the Vitality line. Um, so for instance, Idaho Blue Spruce and Goldenrod are not yet in the Vitality line, but they are safe for ingestion. So that is kind of a good thing to know. Uh, clary sage, again, not in the Vitality line, but it's a key edible ingredient in the Scalar Essence Vitality, um, which I know a lot of women use to regulate hormones yes. um, and uh, increase estradiol. So let's talk a little bit more about um, Proplex, because I think that yes. is a big time favorite. Mm. If you are a woman, which I'm pretty sure we all are, <laughs> On this live feed you need this <laughs> um, what's really cool about this is that it has a wild yam extract which is a natural occurring progesterone hormone it is totally safe and like the synthetically made progesterones that might be out there like the creams um, and it's wonderful I kind of gave a little bit of my testimony earlier but um, I'll give another one about a week ago I, sorry, backtrack. I put this on every day. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. And like last week when I forgot, um, I just started feeling sad. And I'm a generally happy person, so when I started feeling sad, it was kind of funky. And it was one of those... Like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> and if anybody has experienced postpartum blues after giving birth, it's it was that kind of sadness where it just came out of nowhere for no reason. And I was kind of like, what's going on? And then, ah, oh, light bulb, I didn't put my Pro Plus on. I literally put two drops on my wrists and went on with my day. And like maybe two minutes later, my joy was back and my sadness was gone. And so I'm super thankful for this blend and I keep it with me everywhere I go. Um, so the ingredients in here, which I mentioned the Wild Yam Extract, um, there's also sacred frankincense, which is wonderful, cedarwood, uh, bergamot, if I'm saying that correctly, mm -hmm. peppermint, and clove. And it smells really good. I mean, all the oils mm -hmm. smell good, but... No, but it's like perfume smell mm. without, without the endocrine disruptors. Yes. Love it. And it's kind of, it's a grounding blend for myself, which I think makes sense with the cedarwood in there. See, and I think this one is a turn-on oil for my hubby, for sure. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, ladies, mm -hmm. if you want to turn on your man <laughs> and support your hormones. <laughs> yes. So, yes, Progestance Plus, it's key to balancing your hormones. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because at the Dallas um, convention that Young Living did, I believe that one was three years ago, um, the doctor that designed Progestance Plus uh, was there, and he... Um, or excuse me, I'm not sure if he was there or if it was someone representing him, so don't quote me on that. But definitely he was testing women's progesterone levels and it was something like 95% of the women that came to him were low in progesterone. So That's a so lot crazy. of women are just like, do I really need that? And I'm like, well, if you have any of those telltale <laughs> signs of, you know, kind of sad for no reason, um, just kind of stuff that I feel like all women deal with. Um, I know a lot of women have felt their body more supported when they're going through menopause and hot flashes and things like that too. Yes. Um, so yeah. Oh yes. That was no another plus. thing. Thank you for reminding me. Mm. Um, even though I consider myself young, <laughs> I was already experiencing hot flashes and they were pretty regular. Um, and I didn't even realize that pro plus was actually stopping that. Like I don't remember the last time I had a hot flash. But when I was telling my mother-in-law about it the other day, she actually asked me if it helped with my hot flashes. And I was like, oh my gosh, another thing that Pro Plus helped me with. So no more hot flashes. I have like 20 or 30 more years. The side effects you have with natural products. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's not I can't poop. It's I feel better. And my hot flashes went away. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so um, also a fun little thing to know. 
our natural hormones that we have that we produce those are the best those are the most amazing 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 yes. the um, plant hormones are they work with our body they're more bioavailable to our body so they are good they're really good now synthetic hormones although they can help you at times they are going to cause more damage than they are good. So um, in general, plant hormones yes. are the way to go and helping your natural hormones work as well as they can. So get that out of the way. Yes, Maria, you are young at 60. Yeah, Woo girl. We're all young. <laughs> I love it. Yes, Dr. Dan Purser is the, the guy who came up with Pro Plus. Um, Idaho Blue Spruce and Goldenrod, definitely in general for men, but I personally like Idaho Blue Spruce a lot for myself um, and adding it to different blends and things too. And Aurora says the capsules uh, through YL are the best deal. Awesome. Good to know. Oh, cool. Um, okay, so let's go to some other hormone balancing oils. So um, a few that I have not used are Lady Sclerol and Sclar Essence. So if you are a Young Living person and you know about those, definitely throw um, some whoops, some goodness in down there for us. Um, and Sorry, my phone vibrated. <laughs> There we go, no worries. There we go. Um, okay, so just the little bit that I took from the book about Sclar Essence. Um, it loves our girly systems. Mm -hmm. um, it's an estradiol increasing blend, and estradiol supports um, and loves on our reproductive system. Um, when we have low estradiol, uh, we have female irregularity and fertility complaints. So if that's someone, um, if that's you, you might want to look into Sclar Essence. Um, other things that it benefits are bone health energy, metabolism, libido, emotional well-being, I mean... Like everything. Sounds amazing. <laughs> I actually recently scanned for this one and I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm, I'm going to get this one. Um, another thing, um, oh, and Sclar Essence also comes in Vitality, so you could do that one topically or internally. Um, and then, let's And it's the see. same ingredients, the Vitality mm -hmm. line and the, regu the regular bottle. If it's the same, so like Thieves, for example, it's in Vitality and it has a regular bottle. They're both the same ingredients, but they just made the Vitality oil to let you know which ones are safe to ingest. Exactly, just to help us out um, and just to um, be on the FDA's radar that we're being compliant and that we want to work with them. Yes. Um, because natural health does work, it's amazing, and we don't want to have to have a prescription for it. So that's why we are very compliant and we follow the rules. Um, even though I like to be a rule breaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Lady Sclerol um, decreases negative emotions, and then there's also Dragon Time, oh. um, which this one's kind of funny because I have shared this with a lot of people. I've never used this myself, um, and the reason for that is because I have not had a period in oh. over three years. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am one of those lucky people that while I'm breastfeeding, my period doesn't or hasn't come back. Um, so from being pregnant with my first, who's now two, and then my little one that's four months, um, I haven't had a period. So, But I did get this one for free, and I am so excited because I love sharing this one with my friends because that time of the month needs this oil, Dragon yes. Time, I mean self-explanatory. Do you use this one? I have used it. Yeah. <laughs> I just got it for free too, so I just recently used it, and it was perfect timing. I literally started my period the day that I got it in the mail. And I was so happy. I just rubbed a little bit over my abdomen and poof, my cramps were gone. Oh, yeah. And I have suffered from pretty bad cramps. Yeah, I know that a lot of women are, are very surprised at how well that oil like seems to work for them. Okay, so now let's talk about um, Ylang Ylang or Ulong Ulong, Ooh. I think is how you're supposed to say it. <laughs> um, so this is very floral. Ylang Ylang is known. The flower is known for romance. Um, this is actually one that I made these. We had this fun Valentine's party. This one's called Bring In Sexy Back. Um, and it has ylang ylang, cypress, and clary sage. So this is one that Ooh. I have been using on my inner thighs to get the mood going. Blood um, flowing. <laughs> so, yes. And it has been wonderful. Um, so that one for me and ylang ylang or long long diffused are ones that really help me kind of I don't know, just start thinking happy, wonderful, lovey thoughts towards my husband, especially when we've had busy, full, stressful days, weeks, whatever. So Ylang Ylang is a lovely, lovely one. Um, and 
It also increases and balances the male and female sexual energy. It's known as an, aphrodisi an aphrodisiac, um, happy and calming. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and touch on these, but if it starts to get too long, we might have to cut it short, and we'll just try and give you guys the information in some posts, yeah. too. Where are we at? Let's okay, 25. See. Okay, we're doing good. Aurora says she loves dragon time and never be without it. Yes. Awesome. Okay, when using the capsules, how many drops do you use, and do you have to carry oil in the capsule as well? Okay, that is another reason it's super good to get this book, because she does give a ton of recipes. Um, I think in the capsules, it only really fits about like 15 drops when you do a little bit of a carrier oil. Um, so I've only ever mixed like two or three oils. Um, so like three drops, five drops, five drops kind of a thing. Um, you don't have to use the carrier oil, but some oils are a little bit spicy, and using a carrier oil just helps the oils to get down into your um, intestines and just into your body, um, and so it doesn't really get stuck. I just think it kind of helps the flow. Um, so I think definitely use a carrier oil. There wouldn't be maybe frankincense. I don't know. Does anybody not use carrier oils in their capsules? Let us know. Yes. Um, yeah, Oolong Oolong is in the Sensation Massage Oil. It's in the Sensation Blend. So it's a very popular one used in a lot of the blends. Um, let's see. Do you use Valor 2 or Valor 1? I have never used Valor. Until today. Oh, my gosh. We did. We put on Valor before <laughs> yes. this because Valor boosts confidence. And Valor is my unicorn oil. Mm -hmm. And I have been hoarding the original for so long because I got this in the raindrop kit after Valor went out of stock so I was lucky and now it is coming back again um, it, or, excuse come me, back. it did come back on Saturday I'm getting it <laughs> so yeah we've already placed our order for Valor but yes. if you have not placed your order for Valor for this month then let me know because I want to buy it off of you <laughs> I use it a lot I use it in the raindrop and emotional release technique so it's an awesome one to have on hand um, so, hello, confidence in the bedroom. Do we need confidence in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, some of us struggle with that. I know I did um, <laughs> for a while. Um, so, yeah, confidence, great thing, So right? good for men and women. Yes. Um, helps to loosen emotional blocks. So if you've had any sort of trauma with sexual stuff, um, mm -hmm. that is definitely a really, really, really lovely oil um, for all of that, too. Yes. Um, but yeah, just, it's amazing, uplifting, incredible. Valor 2 works exactly the same way. I, it's funny because I do have people that prefer Valor 2 over Valor 1. Valor 1 is my jam, and I'm so stoked <laughs> that it came back. Um, but Valor 2 is, is a good one as well. I mean, Hi, Lindsay. Valor is so good. It gets a groupie. Come mm -hmm. on. That's how amazing it is. Okay, what about joy? Joy, 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 joy. Joy is joy. <laughs> Enough said. Okay, I learned a new fun fact about that, that she said in the book, that joy was originally called love. Oh, yeah, yeah. <gasps> How interesting is that? Love and joy. Mm. They go together. Yeah. Joy, if I'm being honest, I did not like the smell in the beginning. I didn't either. Maybe because I needed some joy in my life. <laughs> you must have the same type of emotional baggage. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it now. And... All I can say is it works. <laughs> um, if you love or hate an oil, I love how Carolyn Mind said it. There's a message there for you. Yes. So don't think you have to use it all the time or whatever. Don't force yourself. But definitely reflect on it. Maybe put it on your feet. Um, mm -hmm. I saw that Joy, um, if it's a little too floral for you, which is what it was for me, that you can cut it with clary sage or like a citrus oil Ooh. and it just tones it down and makes it a little bit... Um, nicer for people. Awesome. Yeah. Um, do you want the ingredients? Do you want us to name the ingredients and the blends, or do you guys just kind of want to do the research on your own? Mm. Let us know. <laughs> um, but I will, I'll name these ones. Joy has bergamot, ylang ylang, or ylong ylong, geranium, lemon, coriander, tangerine, jasmine. Oh, I want to get jasmine so bad. And Roman chamomile, rose, all hail rose, and palma rosa. We all know how expensive rose oil is, so it's really nice to get the blends that have rose in it, um, because then you're getting rose and a bunch of other goodness in there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, joy is amazing. It stimulates the brain for love and affection. So this is another great one for getting you in the mood. 
um, improving your libido. Um, I was told to put it over my heart when I didn't like it, mm -hmm. so I would just do one drop over my heart and I just wore it that way for a week. Um, I was pregnant at the time when I was using it and it really did, I feel like, soften me a bit. I was feeling a little rough around the edges and just frustrated with that pregnancy, so it really did help me connect with my baby and um, I ended up really loving it um, when she came along. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we won't do ingredients, but yeah, that's taking too long, but you can look it up. <laughs> oh, and then I have a note here that says big joy, so I'm thinking that Ooh. that means something that it helps with man parts. I think she said, I think Lucy said that you'll be oh, no, shouting yes. oh joy, oh shouting, joy. Shouting oh joy, yes. So things In the like bedroom. climax <laughs> for you and him, I've heard are better with joy, so joy would be another good one rubbed on the thighs. Mm -hmm. okay. Something about rubbing the oils, I mean definitely these oils because these are tested and tried for the bedroom time, but something about rubbing oils between your thighs, I mean, just don't anything. do peppermint. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. If you, especially if you put peppermint on your head for some head tension, don't be, don't be touching don't those be lady touching. bits. Yeah, go, go no. wash. No, we, we're not responsible for you no. burning your lady parts. <laughs> Unless you like that? No, no, don't do that. Too tingly. I think there was one of the recipes, though, for um, giving a little extra love to your hubby with, like, put the peppermint yeah. drop on your mouth. You know, if you're in that, yes. maybe that would feel a little cooling for his um, beep, gong. Beep. <laughs> Soldier? <laughs> Soldier. Crawl yes. the warrior king. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Now is the time Sorry. where we're blushing a little bit, so we need you to be blushing with us. So <laughs> you need to give us some fun names for what you call yes. your, your special Ooh, man friends. I think a parts. giveaway for the best oh, name. Yes, we'll do that. Let's do a giveaway for the best name <laughs> for a man part. Albert, maybe? Prince Albert? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't necessarily have to be your man's junk. It could just be a real good name that you yeah. know of. But someone, one of you, is going to win something. Muley? Muley? <laughs> oh, no. That sounds like that's personal. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't want to know. <sighs> Vienna. Schmexy. And anybody who's watching the replay, we are commenting on people that were commenting oh. on the live video. Yes. Just FYI. So. <laughs> Private Bob. Oh my gosh, Mary. You guys, these are awesome. Goldenrod. Yes. yes. Goldenrod is actually an oil I do not have yet. I need to get that oil. Wait, Bobby, are you calling it Marta or are you calling Marta out? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Don't be calling your husband stuff, Marta. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Dingy. Okay. Clary Sage. While you guys keep commenting, we'll go over Clary Sage. Um, one thing I noticed with Clary Sage is that it was it is in a lot of Clean Clary products that are made for women, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Mm, and I love the smell. But um, you can. This is one of the oils that you can ingest for sexy time or overall hormonal support. And um, it's used for a bunch of different things. It's used for PMS. Cochita. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, oh. mushroom. Um, it's used for PMS, insomnia, hormonal balance, circulatory issues. And I, fun fact, it's found in Utah, France, which I know it's not Paris, but when I think of France, I think of romance. So mm. the fact that this is what's it called, grown in France is kind of cool. And it's, again, a very floral scent. I think this is mm. definitely one of the most popular oils for um, for women, absolutely, for hormonal support. It's literally in all the blends um, for women. Um, you know, Dragon Time, Sclar Essence, all of them. Yes. Oh, and another cool fact, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but in Clary Sage, there's a natural occurring phytoestrogens, mm -hmm. which is why it helps your hormones to be in balance. And there's no side effects. Awesome. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so uh, Clary Sage has been known to up your estrogen levels. And why upping your estrogen levels is good is because it does help you get more in the mood. Um, so when we are ovulating, our estrogen levels are up. So um, 
if you've ever noticed, and we're going to get a little PG-13 right now, when you go to the bathroom and you're ovulating, your um, uh, Tukey? <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> when you go to wipe yourself and it's a little extra slimy, that means your estrogen levels are up. So, um, and that just makes sense because we are designed to procreate, and so when you are, you know, a little higher estrogen, you're more in the mood, you want to get randy, you want to make that baby, um, or have that fun. So Clary Sage is really great at upping those estrogen levels. So even yes. when it's not that time of the month when you're ovulating, it can help remind your body, like, ooh, let's get those up, let's, let's get frisky, let's have a little fun. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, if you're a little dry down there, and yes. that's where you need help, use Clary Sage. Yes, I have that down here too, natural lube. So, um, I think Lucy said about putting it just above your pubic bone and on your thighs. So, if you're mm -hmm. someone that is prone to dryness or just certain times of the month, I know I get dry um, certain times of the month. So, probably you know more when you're not ovulating. Definitely. Oh my gosh, I'm reading these. They're so funny. Um, oh man. <laughs> when we go back through them. <laughs> They're too good, you guys. Okay, so um, sensation. Let's do mm. sensation. I don't have this oil I want. It. This I is the sensation it. massage oil. And this one is actually known, and I can actually speak from experience on this one. This one you can put directly on your lady bits. Um, mm. I did dilute it because we wanted to make our own kind of sexy time oil before we got the Sensation Massage Oil. Um, and so I can tell you that it does improve sensation. <laughs> and women, this is an interesting fact, mm. you guys. I didn't actually realize it was this high, but 75% of women are unable to climax the O face, yes, the O, O, O face, 75% <laughs> are unable to climax with just intercourse, you guys. That means only 25% of women are climaxing just from intercourse. That means that we need stimulation on our big C word, on that special love button. Yes. Um, so whether you guys like to use toys or you know hubby's fingers, your fingers, whatever, just know that that is something that will help you get there. So if that mm -hmm. is an issue you've been having, that is a really simple remedy. You guys, when I find that found that out, that like completely changed our sex life. So I was just really innocent to all of that stuff. I didn't know that stuff, so um, maybe some of you didn't know that either, and so, yeah, there you go. Awesome. Little, little tidbit about myself. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm excited. That. I just bought that oil. <laughs> yes, that one is good. Um, also, if you don't feel like being touched, we talked about that a little bit earlier, how lives get busy and whatnot. This one is a really good one to diffuse, to help you. Mm. I mean, a lot of them help you get in the mood, but um, this one definitely... It's like your four-plate oil. It's a really good four-plate oil. Perfect. And it smells really good. It has jasmine in it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I it's love a really jasmine. lovely blend. <laughs> um, do you want to go with cypress? Yeah. You, you knew about that one, yeah? Cypress. This is just a, a quickie oil. Um, cypress is great for... Is that what for... you use it for? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get things done. <laughs> it probably would work. I that. think it would. That's why. Um, cypress is known to help blood flow quickie oil <laughs> so ladies you can rub it between your thighs or if you prefer to rub it on your man part you could do that too um so awesome oil i just basically wrote down um what did i write down I use oh. this oil for a ton of stuff too before any of the sexy time stuff. So this oil is one to look up in your um, oily Bible or any of your reference material because there is so much good stuff for this oil. Yeah, and it's super economically priced. I think mm. it's like less than $20 for this oil. Um, but it can blood flow obviously and then helps you get in the mood. But then also it can help with varicose veins. And I know mm. ladies that... Um, that's one of their insecurities, and if you're wanting to see those go away, you can apply that to your veins and help the blood flow again. So, awesome oil. Someone said they have that oil. Yeah, I had it, um, and I was so lucky that I had it because I was looking up something in the pocket reference, and it was in my Ancient Oils of Scripture kit. So, mm. um, it is in that kit, and it's really cool. I didn't cool. know that. Or, is it in that kit? 
Oh, yes, it is in that kit, I believe, and then it's also in the raindrop kit. So this mm -hmm. one is the one from the raindrop kit. Um, all so sorts yeah, of good stuff. Awesome oil. You said blood flow, circulation, so we can all... Set the mood. Know what that is good for. <laughs> that all, that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. <laughs> um, uh, orange. Orange, you guys, I just, I cut everything with orange. So, like, often when I'm using a blend, I will add in lemon or orange or whatever. But orange is one my husband loves. Like, he puts it in his whiskey drinks. He really likes that one at nighttime, sexy time oil. Mm -hmm. That is just something that um, he gets really exhausted at the end of the night. So, anything citrus for my hubby just helps him come alive in all areas of the body, brain, everywhere. So, orange is just an awesome one for men. And it smells amazing. Yes. But if you're someone that suffers from, you know, being a little bit more frigid, frigidity, um, that one's a really good one. Um, also, chocolate is an aphrodisiac, mm -hmm. and Emerald made these amazing chocolates at this make and take that she did, and she put orange oil in it, and it was delicious. Orange comes in Vitality, um, and it comes in the regular oil, so you can use it aromatically, topically, or internally. Um, yeah. It's super awesome. Hi, um, Heather. Hi, Jill. Thank you for joining us. Hey, hey. Um, it's also, I believe, oh, it's not in the Young Living Chocolate. I actually just brought out the Young Living Chocolate because it has the tangerine in it. Ooh. Um, this one has a cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I'm partial to the tangerine one. This one is like the tangerine that ginger, yummy. which is really interesting because I don't really like ginger, but I really like that chocolate. But it's so easy to make your own chocolate too. Yes. So, um, yeah. And like I was reading the back and there's like literally four or five ingredients and I'm like, um, that is how many ingredients should be in chocolate, not 25. Yes. So, <laughs> um, anyways, total side tangent, but let's talk about Mr. I know that you guys Mister. love that one. Yes. So Mr. is for your man. Although it um, has been known to help women as well with their hormones, but it has an ingredient called blue yarrow, which is known to support your glandular system. Mm -hmm. um, but that goes for both men and women. But it was a blend. It's a blend made for men. And Jeff, my hubby, puts I'm it on. Pretty sure blue yarrow is in Dragon Time too. Yes, it is yeah. in Dragon Time. And that was the one, if you were at convention last year and you got your hands dirty and got to plant, yarrow was what we planted last year. So fun little fact. Fun. I'm excited to see what we're going to plant this year. Cool. Well, it smells really good. My mm -hmm. hubby uses it as a cologne. Um, it can also be known to boost confidence, um, to be a grounding blend. If your hubby's a little stressed at the end of the day, have mm -hmm. him put this on. Or even put it on you and just have him like start smelling your neck to get things going. Um, yeah, it smells actually a bit more woodsy to me than I remember. My husband wears really this one yummy. daily because it's really good for prostate health and yeah. just, this is like I think the men's equivalent or similar to like the Endoflex Progestins Plus kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And my hubby puts a roll on um, and does it on his neck and I think somewhere on his back. Ooh, um, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. I it's agree, Mr. Rebecca. It's Mr. for your Mr. Joy is so much better with orange. What's it smell like? Okay, let's see. Did hmm. you already list all the oils? I didn't. Okay, so sage, fennel, which is interesting because I didn't smell the fennel. No, and I can't stand fennel. I don't really like fennel either. So it doesn't smell like that. We need to look up the emotional release. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> lavender, myrtle, yarrow, and peppermint. Hi, baby. Um, and it's already a little bit pre-diluted with sesame seed oil, it looks like. But yeah, I was like, it must it be the smell sage because like it really... And the myrtle usually is such a strong eucalyptus, but this is like, I gotta put this on you guys. I need to see. Because you know how sometimes you put an oil on and it actually smells different mm -hmm. on you than it did in the bottle? And it's blue. It's pretty blue. Because the blue, yeah. I wanna smell it now. <laughs> oh, now I got that myrtle. Mm. Oh, I like that one a lot. I do too. That's a nice manly oil. This is one of the first extra oils outside my kit that I bought because I wanted my, my hubby to have his own special oil and he loves yes. it. And I love it. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, Idaho Blue Spruce, one of the highest frequency oils. I believe the oh. highest frequency oil. No I'm pretty way. sure, yeah, because it's higher than rose. So this one, wow. and really any of the spruce oils I'm kind of obsessed with, but this one has no, been known to increase testosterone levels. So 
A lot of men are, are low in testosterone. And so this is an excellent one. You guys, I just keep like sniffing <laughs> this one because I'm like slightly obsessed with the spruce oils. The Northern Lights Black Spruce and the Idaho Blue Spruce. Now we're just going to start putting on all just the oils. Just putting on because all Just the put oils. on all the oils. Oils, all the things. Yes. Hmm. In fact, my husband steals this one from me. And thank God it's only like 22 bucks or something because now we each have our own. Because we both <laughs> love this one so much. It's amazing. Um, I did write a little note here. Um, someone calls this the wake-up capsule, especially for waking up his man bits. Um, I know this is a good one for men to take like 10 to 30 minutes before sexy time if you can plan for that. I know some people like to plan their sexy time. Um, so yeah, so the key thing was she felt a difference. So I think this just helps <laughs> the soldier in strength um, as well. Is this the well. one where there was different sizes? <laughs> I think so. Just firmness. This is this is the firmness oil. <laughs> Do you like the way Mr. Smells? I do, actually. I was kind of surprised. I wasn't sure about it when I was just sniffing it from the bottle, but I really like it um, from when I put it on my hands. But Idaho Blue Spruce. It's her dram. Has my heart. Instead of the blue pill, it's the blue bottle. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, just say no to the blue pill. Yes. So that segues kind of into uh, Goldenrod. Do you oh, know much about Goldenrod? Okay, goldenrod, according to the University of Montreal in Canada, um, deflated hoses and firmness. And in fact, there was, she had a capsule recipe in the Lucy Libido book of using Idaho Blue Spruce, goldenrod, and I believe nutmeg. Yes. So, because nutmeg is really good for circulation, um, we don't want any deflated hoses. So she said five drops of Idaho Blue Spruce, three drops of Goldenrod, and three drops of Nutmeg um, about 10 to 30 minutes before sexy time. And it helps things stay strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll just tap on Hong Kwai. Hong Kwai, you guys, this is something that I want you guys to look up. Go look up sesquinterpenes. Can someone write it down there so people know how to spell it? sesquinterpenes and what they do because this is higher in sesquinterpenes than frankincense this uh, is an amazing I oil I only sprung for this oil actually with points I used points um, to buy this oil because it was a key recipe in a lot of these romance roll-ons I did for a make-and-take for um, Valentine's Day but um, it's super earthy yeah it smells like you're in the mountains in a cabin it's really really nice Mm-hmm. It's really good. Really it's nice. also known to be like now. confidence in a bottle. Yeah. And I think this is a his and her. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It seems, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just to me, when I smell it, I think of more manly. It's from yeah. a tree, so definitely like woodsy. Like Tarzan. Um, yeah, what was that story about Tarzan? I don't remember, but I, it, she, she has a story book. about like where it's from, I think is... She like imagined her star tar Tarzan Tarzan man in these trees, like getting the oils out, and it was strength like, and sexy. confidence. <laughs> and yeah, so if your hubby has struggles with feeling sexy, this is a good sexy boosting oil for him. Um, yeah, highest sesquinterpene of any oil. Look it up. Tell me something fun fact about it. Yeah, science. Okay, and then <laughs> Shutron. Yes, you guys. Shutron. <laughs> Say it with oh me one more gosh. time. Shutron. <laughs> I love this bottle. Mm. Okay. I haven't smelt it in a few days. It smells different now, but it still smells really good. It smells like candy. Um. Yes, Rebecca Willis. Take before sex. Sexy time. So definitely, you could ingest it or apply it, but this one, she just suggested... Oh. suggested um, uh, ingesting it, so taking it in the capsule. Okay, so this sucker, my hubby also uses at, with his mister as kind of a cologne as well. But oh my goodness, ladies, the first time I smelt this on my hubby, I was like, "What does that smell? I want to eat you. You smell so good. Come here!" And I just kept smelling him all day. And of course, he put it on his chest, and he's like. Smell me. <laughs> like, okay. Come smell me, woman. I'll smell you, hubby. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I think this also, 
wait, don't, I was going to say it has jasmine in it, but don't quote me on that. No, it doesn't, but it smells really good. I think why I thought it had jasmine in it is because the first time I smelt it, it smelt like jasmine to me. Also, everybody I know mm. absolutely adores this oil. I actually did not adore it. I, I think it was because I was pregnant and, you know, smells are just funny when you're pregnant. Oh, yeah. But um, everybody I know of is like, I want to bite my husband when he puts this on. Yes. And because it was so popular, they made a whole shoot online. Um, the shave cream and the lotion and the bar soap and all this stuff. So now my so hubby good. has all of those fun things. So this is a really cool thing. Um, it like, also has Idaho spruce in it. Blue spruce. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. it's got a lot. I think that's the main ingredient is Idaho Blue Spruce. So this is like an amazing, amazing Father's Day gift. Um, so, yeah. Yes, or Super for your awesome. man in a little stocking for Christmas time. Thinking yeah. ahead for the planners. Definitely. I like to say made for women, worn by men. <laughs> <laughs> you need to advertise. You need to have like a graphic oh. for that, right? <laughs> So good. Okay, so um, yeah, I think Shutron was actually released at a convention, and they kind of upped it as like a clone and like meant for um, specifically catching ladies' attention, but this has very quickly become like the ultimate sexy time oil, and like my husband loved it. Like the second I got it for him, he probably went through it pretty quick <laughs> and was like, I need more Shutron, and I'm like, you know how expensive <laughs> that oil is? You need to just slow your roll a little bit, so... <laughs> Um, but we do love that oil. Um, also, I just had a few notes on Endoflex, which I think we did share that kind of in our personal story, um, but just wanted to tap on this. Uh, women, especially after having children, no matter what age you are, um, need thyroid support, and we are not um, given adequate thyroid support, I don't think, and there has been a rise in our country, especially with um, Hashimoto's and thyroid diseases, and um, so for me, when I had my second baby, Ellison, I really wanted to make sure my thyroid was supported, especially because I instantly felt relief with this one. Like literally put it on and energy level was through the mm -hmm. roof. It was so amazing. So my thyroid was literally screaming for this. Um, so this one is amazing. We also have a, th a supplement um, called Thyromin, which I recommend for any new, brand new mommy, take it for the first couple months. Um, because we really need that thyroid support um, that time. So it's just overall endocrine system support. Endocrine system is responsible for telling the body what hormones to produce and when. So this is like the top. You know, it just it just helps everything. It's endoflex, Amy. Endoflex function, everything better. It helps regulate metabolism, um, growth. So really good for teenagers too, um, especially going through like puberty and stuff. Really good, helpful for that time of life. Um, sexual function, reproduction, thyroid function, sleep, mood, um, all Everything. of those. Yeah. So um, we love oils so much because they've just become these incredible tools for us um, in helping support our body. Um, Young Living does have really incredible supplements. I just really like to remind people that even before Gary Young got into essential oils, he was into the supplement game. So his supplement game is strong. Um, a few that I really like to support my um, hormone levels, PD8020 is amazing, um, especially especially for people who are just getting pregnant. This one can be really gentle on the system and really help you if you um, get nauseous or anything like that. Um, it just says natural support for maintaining endocrine function. So it's just such a well-rounded one. I've actually recently started taking this one again because... I just noticed such a difference when I'm on it. Um, Super B promotes a positive outlook and healthy energy levels. B vitamins, another big one that women are low in. So yes. this one sells out a lot because a lot of women love this one. Um, this one is a really awesome bang for your buck too. It's under 20 bucks. Um, and then multigreens is another really good energy. Um, I mean, nobody gets all the all the veggies that they need in their diet. So, you know, Ningxia, Multigreens, these are all things that are going to support your body to function as it was designed to function. Um, so, give me a holla if you like some of these supplements because I never felt a difference on supplements before. I threw so much money down the drain. Um, and because all of Young Living supplements are infused with essential oils, they really make them more bioavailable to your body and I just notice the difference. I love them. Yeah. If I get off my routine for a week, I am out of whack. So, um, yes. And yeah. 
I don't remember where I found the statistic. Maybe I can post it below if I remember, but when you're taking your supplements, your body generally only absorbs about 15%. But with essential oils, that hikes all the way up to 80%. Yeah, up to 80%. 80%. Like 50 to 80, That's amazing. Incredible. So having the oils in them is what really helps your body, <laughs> I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Cindy says me too. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason, you guys. Young Living is growing at such a rapid rate. It's because there's there aren't companies out there like Young Living with the integrity that they have, and so people are yeah. drawn to it. Um, it's amazing how fast they're growing. I mean, someone signs up, you know, every 15 seconds or something like that, something crazy. Oh, I didn't know that. That's um, crazy. And, and so, you know, if something ever goes out of stock, just know that, like, Young Living is doing an amazing, amazing job at keeping up with the demand. Um, and people need this stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. So, life changing. Um, share with your friends, you guys. Give your friends samples. Like, women, we need this. We need this support. Um, hormonal support, physical support, emotional, all that good Everything. stuff. Everything. So um, if you don't yet have oils and someone invited you here, please get in contact with them and get started with a starter kit because it will literally be the de best decision you ever make in your life. I um, maybe second to having my children and husband, but it helps <laughs> me love them more. So I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. It's true. Um, and just think about all the pesticides that are out there, the growth hormones that are out there, the synthetically made foods and pills that the doctors prescribe you know there's so many things that man has made that can affect our body in a bad way so having these oils to support our bodies and get us back in tune with how we're supposed to be and what we were called to live like is vital <laughs> Yeah, Debbie also said thyramin also helps older women with low thyroid. Absolutely, Th mm. and it helps women of all ages, and that's the beauty of um, natural hormones, that there really are a lot of things that we can do to help support our hormones. So if we didn't yes. answer a question for you, um, please, we're going to stay on for a few more minutes. Go ahead and ask us some questions if you'd like us to answer them. Um, we're certainly not experts. We are just... Uh, you know, learning geeks, loving this information. Yes. Um, this book, you guys get it. It's amazing. There's so much we just couldn't even um, cover yeah. in this class. I have. But I hope you've gotten notes. excited, and I hope that you. Um, I just hope this has given you hope if you're someone yeah. that's struggling, because I know I was struggling, and I'm so so thankful that um, I have this oily family that perked my interest with Proplast and Endoflex and. Um, has really made a huge difference huge. Um, in my life and taking care of the people I need to take care of. Ditto that. Oh, thanks, you guys. Yeah, we're going to do a couple giveaways. Um, Emerald is giving away one of the Lucy the Beetle books. I'm going to be giving away the nutmeg. Um, we didn't touch a whole lot on nutmeg, but uh, it's an incredible oil. I actually like the nutmeg vitality. Just swiped on the inside of my cheek for a little extra boost in energy. It is a key ingredient in the Endoflex. Um, and it's one that I like cooking with too. Mm. Um, and it increases circulation. So it's a really good one to put in your man capsules um, or for your men. Yes. Um, something we didn't really touch on was the different like lube recipes and stuff that Ooh, she has in here. Yeah. So um, there's all kind of, the names are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Sea Man Stroking Jelly Base, <laughs> Lucy's Original. I know a lot of people do like the Sensation Massage Oil or the B6. Um, coconut oil is also good. Uh, she's got one called Fire and Ice, Hot Nights, Oh Boy, Oh Joy, Ooh. Shivers Up Your Spine. So good stuff. There's a lot of good and stuff. And she also has oils on the in the back of the book, a chart that she tells you what you can ingest, what you should put on top, topically or diffuse so you know how to safely use them. Um, Edible love for you and your hubs. Interesting. I don't love them. I haven't used these recipes yet. I've really just been loving like making my own little roll-ons. You guys, these are so fun um, and easy, especially if you quickly get in the mood. You can kind of just swipe it on your thighs and get going. Mm -hmm. um, Seriously, yeah, yes, absolutely. you do need that book. Less than ten dollars, ladies. Yeah, we might throw in a few other fun giveaways um, too, but definitely the nutmeg and. Um, I don't know, maybe for someone that's local, if you're in Orange County, maybe we'll do some chocolate. Yeah. Because the chocolate is super yummy. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, ladies, I posted, I think it was post number three, um, to write three things that are beautiful about you. It could be uh, exterior physical stuff. It could be emotional stuff. 
intellect, whatever you want to put there to enter in to win the giveaway. Because um, we want to make sure that we're uplifting each other. This is a community where we want to love on each other and have it be safe for us to talk about the things in life that aren't generally talked about. So make sure you tell us what makes you beautiful and you can be entered in to win the book and Endoflex Roll-On. Yes, absolutely. And then make sure to introduce yourself. That's going to be another giveaway. Um, one of them is definitely going to be the Bringing Sexy Back because this is one that Ooh. I love. This is Clary Sage, Yulong Yulong, and Cypress. So maybe we'll do a couple of these guys because um, they've been super fun too. Bye. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us, you guys, Thank tonight. You guys. How cute is the Young Living water bottle? <laughs> I love it. We love you guys. Yes. Is there any questions? <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Shauna, you know what the best thing to do, honestly, is if you have friends that are interested in oils, this is the most amazing way to get your kit paid for. You literally get $50 cash back from Young Living um, when you share with your friends. So something that I know a lot of my friends have done that um, are on tight budgets or just aren't in a place to purchase their kits just yet, um, it's really awesome. Either sell stuff, you know, that you don't need anymore, um, or share with your friends. Have one of your, um, I'm not sure if you're in our group or not, but any of our leaders are happy to teach for you um, and help you get your kit paid for because we know how valuable the oils are um, and we don't want anybody to have to go without them. Yes. And also, if you've literally never experienced the oils, we're happy to give you samples too. Um, Absolutely. We, we love loving on people. Yeah. And yeah, make sure the person who invited you, make sure you connect with them and see how you guys can get started. If it was Lisa, myself, or some of our other leaders, um, connect with them because they're your leaders. They're your go-to gal. We'll post our links um, in a post after this. And anybody um, that is doing the business side or sharing with friends, you're welcome to put your link um, in the comments there and tag your friends there. That makes it easier for you. Alrighty. We love you guys. Love Thanks you guys. for joining Thank us. You. Bye. Bye.